accomplished one of the most amazing feats in sports history. A year ago, she became the first person ever to swim an entire mile in the freezing cold waters of Antarctica. I mean, it, it's incredible. Look at the snow on those mountains. That's absolutely amazing. There's penguins watching her going, she's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. She's, oh. Please welcome one of the greatest marathon swimmers of all time, Lynn Cox. each other, but yes. I didn't say hi. Um, so first of all, you have to realize that she's not the first woman to do this. She is the first person to do this. No one has done this. Um, why? <laughs> I mean, it, it, you're, you're a swimmer. You love swimming. Right. But I mean, I know when I get in cold water, it, you know, those plunges when you go to the hot tub places and you get in the cold water and it takes your breath away. Now, don't you just, how do you do that? It takes your breath away. I mean, when you jump into 32 degree water, it is really hard because your body does freeze up and you have to keep going. And does it burn? I mean, does your skin burn when you touch cold water like that? Actually, it burns and it sort of goes numb. But the biggest thing is that you're trying to breathe and your breath is very fast and your arms are moving over really quickly because you're trying to get to the other side fast. Yeah. And, and, you, and you feel the cold. Um, but but, but yeah, you, I mean, how can you, if you're, if you're breathing, that you can't breathe and your heart is beating that fast, um, although cold water slows your heart down. So how does that work? Normally it slows your heart down, but because the water was cold, because I trained for it, I was trying to compensate, so I was moving my arms at 90 strokes a minute, a lot faster than I ever do. And sort of focusing <laughs> and overriding, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. 90 strokes a minute? Yes. Wow. Uh, okay, so, and you're just swimming normal strokes, normal... Uh, are Normal strokes, but for this swim, you lose 80% of your heat through your head. So the idea was I'd swim up, head up as long as I could to keep the rest of my body warm. But when you swim head up, you're sort of plowing through the water. Right. So I had to be a lot stronger than I had been before, so I did all sorts of weights and all sorts of exercises to gear up for it. Mm -hmm. And did you swim in really cold water to prepare and get it colder and colder all the time? Exactly. I went to a place called Ushuaia in Argentina where sure. the water temperature was 40 <laughs> degrees. And I trained there for an hour and 40 degrees, swimming head up as fast as I could. And um, some days it was more difficult than others because sometimes the wind was blowing at 40 or 50 knots mm -hmm. and it was really hard to get in. And it was also kind of scary because you never knew if your clothes would still be there when you get out if they'd blown into the harbor. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the least of my concern. Yeah. Um, all right, so here's, here's Antarctica and here's, you, you are uh, on the tip of this Peninsula, thing here. Yeah. And, and uh, everybody see? Um, <laughs> I don't know what that does. Basically, um, you were very far away in cold water. And um, <laughs> so what, <laughs> what's the most dangerous part? I mean, are there, sh are, there aren't sharks in water like that, right? There aren't sharks in Antarctica, but there are killer whales and leopard seals, and they're very dangerous. Um, the leopard seals will rip penguins out of their skin and eat them whole. And the orcas can also eat seals, and the thing is that you're just not sure if they know if you're a human or if you're a seal, so you have people in boats who are watching the water to make sure you're safe. And, and have you had a close experience like that? When I was swimming around the Cape of Good Hope in Africa, there was a 12-foot shark that came up out of the water for me, came, came from the bottom up, and there was a diver in the water who saw the shark, and he shot it, and the shark turned and bit the spear and bent it in half and pulled the shark out of its fin and swam off. <laughs> And then there's blood in the water. There was blood in the water. <laughs> so it, I had to compete, complete 400 yards more. So I swam very quickly, but there <laughs> then were Then you're more. doing 200 strokes a minute. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you see that happening? Did you see the shark get shot? Well, actually, the diver who was with me suddenly was no longer there. And so I asked the people on the boat, where's Doug? And they said, go on. I <laughs> yelled, go, go on. So uh -huh. I swam really fast. Wow. And it wasn't until afterwards I found out that the shark had come get me. Wow. Now, what, what, are you, what are you doing next? What's your, your, the next thing we should expect you to do? Well, I've actually written a book that's coming out in a, right now. Right. And um, I'm thinking about some other big goals as well, but I'm not yet sure what they are. All right. 
Well, you're amazing. Congratulations. Everybody is speaking of the book. It's Swimming to Antarctica. Everybody in the audience is going to get a copy of this. Um, it's really amazing. Thank you so much, Lynn.